How mad are you guys at the Heat? How mad are you at the Celtics? How mad are you huh. at the Bulls? That Eastern Conference is so weak. I know who Guillermo's mad at. Guillermo's mad at Don Mattingly. We'll get to that in a second. We all are, man. How could you not be? I love Don Mattingly's quote. If you're not aware, if you're just joining us and weren't aware of what it is that happened last night, Chen had a no-hitter through seven. Had 100 pitches. Yep. What are you guys laughing about back there, that I wasn't even going to try Chen's first name? I got it. You got what? You got his first name? Take a stab at it. Starts with a W, right? Okay. I mean, really? This is how we're going to do it? I got no internet, man. I got it. Hold on. <laughs> so he's going to his phone. Okay. Check it this out. is great. All right. Can't wait to see. I mean, Wei Yin Chen. All right. Close enough. Thank you. So, thank you. So, he throws 100 pitches, and I love Don Mattingly's quote after the game. I don't care what anybody thinks. Well, obviously, I care what he thinks. Like, it was just like that. I don't care what anybody thinks. I care what he thinks. Um, So, Guillermo's mad at him. I got a funny story for you guys. This is funny. This is actually how it happened. I'm not joking. This is the one chance baseball had to make an appearance in my love life. Last night, 12.30, I'm not watching any of that game. And I just say to my girlfriend, hey, I might actually be able to get you to inter- interested in something baseball related. I turn on the television, am explaining what a no-hitter is, don't see a single pitch before a hit into the right right center field gap. Like, it's the only thing I saw of the game. And I'm like, okay, never mind. I didn't even get through the explanation of what the hell a no-hitter is. So you jinxed it. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even, but I didn't even say no hitter. I didn't get, I didn't get anywhere in the conversation. Well, but you were trying to, you started to explain it, did you not? Yes. So you jinxed it. Don't even bother explaining it to her because she's never going to see one as long as Don Mattingly's here, <laughs> ever, <laughs> never, ever, Dan. This Don Mattingly is starting to write checks with me that he cannot cash. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> yeah, he owes me over two hours of sleep. <laughs> That he took away from me yesterday because I would not have stayed up to watch Wei Yin Chen pitch at all. He owes me a 3,000th hit. I don't know where he's going to get that one from. <laughs> and he owes the Chen. He owes me a 3,000. He does owe me a 3,000. Does he not? Yes. Does he not? He, he yes. owes Guillermo some moments. He does. Yes. He owes him some moments. <laughs> he owes yeah. me. He owes me a 3,000th hit. If you're not familiar with Guillermo, Guillermo's been ripping Don Mattingly since last season False. because of the False. Ichiro chase of 3,000 that ended up happening in <laughs> what, Colorado? Because he didn't like schedule it right? It happened in Colorado. The day before they were coming back to Miami, and he gave him a, a start that made absolutely no sense. He was taking Ichiro out in the middle of games. This guy, I can't even with him. I can't even with him, Dan. And here's the thing: he's already lost me. And I gave him a chance to start the season, Dan. I gave him a chance, and it only took him 14 games to mess it up for himself. I gave him a chance. Is it even 14? Because then a couple of days ago, they also had a no-hitter through through eight or yes, something. Yep, and... yep. Yeah, yeah, but I, I was out of time. I didn't see that one, so I okay. couldn't be that mad at him. <laughs> okay. All right? I gave him a chance, and here's the thing. He's going to lose this team. I'm telling you right now. I saw their faces in the dugout. They knew. They knew that he wasn't going to let them finish that game. And the pitchers all know, I'm never going to finish that game. Dan, you want me to give you a stat? Oh, for the love of God. You want me to give you a stat? They're not, first no, place. Not really, no, but... <laughs> The Marlins haven't had a complete game. In, in 442 games. They're never going to have one. They go into this game and they're like, ah, I'll pitch maybe six innings today. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll pitch six innings. Oh, it's the right thing to do. Let's rest the pitch. How about the bullpen? 442 straight games we had to go to the bullpen, and it's always like three pitchers. Is the bullpen ever going to get a day off? Good Brad Ziegler's like 47,000 years old. What's he doing pitching every day? His arm doesn't need rest? Chen is never going to pitch a no-hitter, all right? I had him in fantasy, and I dropped him last week because he's terrible. <laughs> I mean, terrible. Yeah, yeah. He's never going to have a no-hitter. He's terrible. You, the, how much did they pay him? Like $85 million? Yes. They were bidding against themselves to, to get him to $85 million? <laughs> Off of one good year he had with the Orioles. <laughs> last night was his moment, Dan, and Donnie Baseball took it away from him. Mm-hmm. Again, because that's his move, by the way. That's his move. Let me not let anyone be great. That's his move. That's his move. So you're upset because you stayed up late last night, and... Let's be honest here. From a fantasy perspective, you would have gotten a win, a shutout, 
You strike out. You're upset that you dropped it, too. Be honest, Bill. And, and my opponent had him. <laughs> so I was kind of rooting against it at one point. I'm like, oh, God, I hope he doesn't get a no-hitter today. <laughs> Your opponent picked him up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wanted to go to sleep in, like, the fifth inning. I'm like, please give, a, give up a hit so I can go to sleep. And then once I'm invested in it, Dan, I knew it wasn't going to happen. I just knew it. I knew it. As soon as the seventh inning ended with 100 pitches, I go, he's not going to put him in the eighth inning. And sure enough, we come back from commercial, and he's taking him well, out of the game. No, I saw the text string between you and Chris Cody. I saw that, where Chris Cody sent me this. This actually happened. This is a thing that happened here. Chris Cody wrote Guillermo to get him started. He's taking him out with an exclamation point. And right here from Guillermo are five bleep hymns. Or do I have that wrong? Was it Guillermo saying to him he's taking him out and then Chris Cody saying five bleep hymns? No, that was for me. And he's just agitating me because he's always on the old oh, protective picture, protective picture, whatever. And you're lucky because I was going to send you a bunch of texts last night too, but I'm like, I'm not going to bother him. It's a little bit too late to do this. Dan, I woke up today vomiting. Vom like, li like, look, look, I have crackers here. I have ginger ale. I have jello soup. This guy made me sick to my stomach. With wow. what he did. Wow, you're Sick to my stomach, this Don Mattingly. You always have that stuff there. Hey, no, uh, no, yeah. but this time it was different. The ginger ale is different. The crackers are always there. I, sh I should see why. I, I think that's a fine on Billy, by the uh, way. Yeah, Didn't yeah. you hear that uh, That phone? That you got a text message in. That's a fine every time that happens. Uh, tell Zazzle not to. He knows I'm on the air right now, Zazzle. Thank you for you texting me. You sound a Please little don't. bit like Zazzle. You were channeling some... You were channeling some Zaslow. I, I just figured, you know how when you hang around with a lot of people, you pick up some of their stuff, their mannerisms? I heard some Zaslow there, and I heard some Allison. I heard some Allison in your voice where you're like, so again with this guy. Again, like you're, 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 again with this guy, I can't even. I can't yes, even. The yes. I can't even was Allison. Was you? I can't even was totally. It felt like you were wearing a wig, and I was talking to Allison. How are you guys so calm with him? Like, how are you so calm with him? Oh, I just don't care whether the guy gets yeah, a no-hitter or not. At all. I, no, I don't care. Like, if they get a bullpen no-hitter or real no-hitter, the game has changed. Yeah. They don't do complete games anymore. They protect arms. And the only way that Mattingly is going to allow someone to have a no-hitter is if they've got, they're entering the ninth inning having thrown four pitches. We're leaving out that Chen was hurt last year. <laughs> right, he's he healthy now. Exactly, he's, he's healthy now. And then, oh, we can't do it because it's April. But then in May, we can't do it because it's May. And then in June, we can't do it because it's June or July or August. We can never do it. It's always the wrong time of the year to try to let him pitch so far. He had like 50 pitches one game and like 80 the other game. His arm's fine, okay? I'm telling you right now, his arm's nice. fine. Okay. His arm's fine. Henderson Al Alvarez had three complete games in 2014. That's like what Billy's holding on to. He's no longer in the league because his arm has fallen off. <laughs> right. And what the hell do I care about Henderson Alvarez? Wow, okay. I don't care about Henderson Alvarez. I was at his no-hitter. I will never forget Henderson Alvarez. Thank you, Henderson Alvarez, for pitching a no-hitter a game I was at. I will always love him. It was the last game of the season, right? And he threw like 150 pitches. How many pitches, Chris? How many pitches did Henderson Alvarez throw in that no-hitter? Didn't he throw like 135 or 140 pitches? To be honest with you, when I was there, I kind of was like, this kind of sucks to be at this no-hitter because they didn't have a run. So they needed to bat in the ninth, and he was like on deck, and a pass ball got by, and that's how he got the no-hitter. I'm like, this is not how I envisioned experiencing a no-hitter with the pitcher on deck and kind of like, right. what do, do I do Do now? I run to the mound and celebrate? Yeah, 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 Why yeah. don't I run to the mound and have the catcher come out of the dugout and jump into my arms? Then there was like an awkward message, like, the Marlins, fifth no-hitter. It's like, this is not how no-hitters <laughs> go. Right. That is not the way that no-hitters are supposed to go. But Chris brings up a good point. Henderson Alvarez is now out of the league after, after throw, you know, he just kept. Yeah, but he has a no no. Exactly. Yeah. Am I Henderson Alvarez's friend? He has no no salary. That's what he has right now. No no income. Billy's biggest argument with this is that these pitchers, it doesn't matter. If they're not that good, they should just throw, he shouldn't care about their health and their arm if, if they're not like your ace. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> This guy, this is going to be his career highlight, Dan. Like we were talking about, they were talking about the Marlins pitching coach who threw a no hitter in Milwaukee. He only lasted like three seasons. That guy's never going to forget that he had a no hitter. It's just interesting. I'm always interested when we arrive at this place in sports because Guillermo is clearly emotional, and it's the emotional versus the rational. I am not you. This is as emotional as I've ever seen you. Let about me tell anything. you something right now. Just wait and see until Why we have a guy a single it? away, a single away from a cycle. Yeah. Don Mattingly is going to take him out. I, I bet you. I bet you he'll take someone he out. He plays of the defense of a cycle. against historic against moments. greatness. Against greatness, he doesn't want anyone to be better than he was, and he was okay. Whatever. 
Anderson Alvarez threw 99 pitches in that no-hitter. Oh. Is, it, is that right? Yeah, yeah, man, that's what's coming up on my phone because I don't have internet. Yeah. Is that correct? That doesn't sound right to me at all. Yeah, huh. it comes up in all the Okay, yeah, 99. Um, my bad. My bad. Hell of a start. He's not in the league anymore, wasn't he? An all-star? He's out? He, like, no, he's, he's nowhere? No, nah, he's in the league. What, what happened to him? He's bouncing exactly. around. He's had some injuries. Okay, so but it's not because of overuse. Not, no. It's unrelated. Be- right. Unrelated. unrelated injuries. Bad, unrelated, unrelated bad luck unrelated. arm injuries. You hate Don Manningly more than I've ever heard of anyone hating anyone else. That is not true. I'm sure you know people that have hated people more. I don't hate him. I, he's just very frustrating, Dan. And he's very nice. I will say that. He's very nice. I went to Fan Fest. He signed an autograph for he my little cousin. He's also a very good player. Like you could... I don't care about that. That was 50 years ago. I, that means I, nothing to me. He's a terrible manager. Great player, terrible manager. I mean, you just diminished his skills as a player a second ago because you are emotional. He's a bad manager. You don't trust me. Call anyone in L.A. They'll tell you. They're all tweeting me, telling me how frustrating he is. They know. They know. The only one that doesn't know is Mr. Loria. He'll know soon enough. <laughs> and as soon as he sells the team, Donnie Baseball's out of here. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Henderson Alvarez is a free agent. Was I confusing Henderson Alvarez and Wilson Alvarez? Because Wilson Alvarez had that, he had a no-hitter his, I think it was his rookie year as a prospect in the league, and it ended up blowing out his arm and ruining his career. Wilson Alvarez for the Chicago White Sox, he was like 20 or 21 years old, and he threw a ton of pitches and was never the same after what I believe to be his no-hitter. And Wilson Alvarez will never forget that game. I know, but it, 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 he'll never forget it because it ruined his career. Please. His arm was never the same again. It made It made him. It made Wilson Alvarez. You wouldn't be talking about Wilson Alvarez had he not gotten that no-hitter. Um, it's man, emotional versus rational is always interesting to me. Also, short term versus long term is always interesting to me. Wilson Alvarez had uh, he did have the no hitter. He threw uh, 128 pitches. And what happened to him after that? Just vanished, vanished from the league. Like he he did. He was supposed to be a great prospect for the Chicago White Sox, and then he. So you confuse a pitcher um, that was that pitched 20 I, I could, years before. That's right, Henderson Alvarez. I confused Alvarez's. Okay. Um, didn't Dusty Baker do this? Who did Dusty Baker do this to? Uh, well, Mark Pryor. No, no, no. But I'm not. Ta- no, no, no. I'm talking about with a no hitter. He's but didn't he allow? Um, did Edwin Jackson have a no hitter in Cincinnati? Didn't he throw? Didn't isn't there a pitcher in Cincinnati who threw like 150 pitches in a game under Dusty Baker? Didn't that happen recently? I gotta check. I know Homer Bailey uh, has had a couple no hitters, right? No, it wasn't Homer Bailey. It was a Latin pitcher of some sort, I think. I mean, can we trust you at this point? No, but this is we're also noticing how difficult it is to do this show without internet access because I asked so many questions. Wilson Alvarez went on to pitch until 2005. He was fine. He had a couple of 15-win seasons after the no-hitter. Like, he's fine. He was fine. <laughs> uh, he was fine. Why is there an assumption that pitching over, like, 120 pitches once is just going to ruin the person's career? Like, just give him a day, a day off. Skip a start. Did you confuse Wilson Alvarez with Alex Fernandez? Wait a minute. What happened with Wilson Alvarez? Hey, he went on. You know, he had 102 wins, 92 losses, career 3.96 ERA. Made a lot of money. How were his next few years after? I thought he disappeared from the league. Did honestly. you confuse no. uh, pudgy Hispanic White Sox pitchers? Who is the Reds pitcher? <laughs> who is the Reds <laughs> pitcher for Dusty Baker who had a no hitter? Who th- and how many pitches did he throw? We'll find out on that one. But you're asking me what happened after Alvarez threw the no hitter on 128 pitches. He went on to have a 15 and eight season with a 2.95 ERA. It looks like he went on to a 12 and eight season, 15 and 10, 13 and 11. Had a long career and made millions upon millions of dollars. <laughs> I somehow made the under, I, I somehow made the original. I compounded the original Alvarez mistake. In 2010, Edwin Jackson threw 149 pitches in a no hitter. It's the most non Levon Hernandez pitches since 2000. I think he had a few. Like he was a monster. He would just throw forever. Yeah, well, but he also I think got hurt after yes. that. What year was that? 2010. 2010. Yeah. He's still pitching. Did the 97 Marlins put Wilson Alvarez's number on their catch? Is that what you think happened? What was the Marlins pitcher? I've now drawn a blank. Is it Henderson Alvarez? 
Just, what is the name of the Marlins pitcher we were just talking about? Henderson. Yeah. Oh my Henderson. God. What is happening? Yeah, Henderson here? Alvarez. Okay, because what kind of first name is Henderson for a Latin guy? Fair. All right. So, yeah. Well, actually, wow. Check this out. Wilson Alvarez, Henderson Alvarez, American last name is a first name, and Hispanic last name is a last name. You Whoa. Find that. Whoa. Whoa. That's rare. No hey. wonder you confuse That's the two. Hey. That explains it. Don Levitard. You know, I'm going to tell you something, Hulk Hogan. I heard what you said about me a few days ago. Yeah. And I don't think that you can separate business from friendship. I'm your friend. But if I ever see you in the ring, I can beat you. Don't you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stugatz. Randy Savage, I know you your are. Your mustache is crooked. Your beard is a little sideways, too, but I don't want to get into that. This is the Don Levitard show with the Stugatz on the ticket. Can I ask a question, Macho Man? No more questions. I'm sorry about that. Macho Man Randy Savage. Man, people are mad at you. I don't care. Who's mad at me? Who? At me, bro. Who's mad at me? <laughs> Edwin Jackson was born in West Germany. That's an upset. Guillermo, put it on the poll. Are you surprised that Edwin Jackson was born in West Germany? Put that on the poll, please. Chris, what are you laughing about back there? Allison's just beside herself laughing at the idea of Billy in a physical altercation. <laughs> at me? So wait a minute. Allison, come over here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> what made you cackle the most? Because at me, bro? Because at me, bro. <laughs> and like Billy in a fight. If someone, you yeah. would just, you would run. Would you run or would you stand there scared? What if someone actually came at him? <laughs> <laughs> Billy is staring at everyone with simmering rage. I don't I don't see what's so funny. <laughs> I think that in this particular case, out of character, Billy is so furious that I do believe Billy would be willing to fight Donnie Baseball. I believe that is somebody that Billy, but fueled by his own rage... If you if you were about to get into a fight and you could only choose one person from the show to be your wingman to fight with you, who's the person you would choose last? I think we would all say Guillermo, right? Well, Allison. I, I, I would choose Allison last. A fight with Donnie Baseball wouldn't last long. Three punches and then he'd just stop. <laughs> Rest his arm. Yeah, he doesn't want to hurt it. Save it for his career. <laughs> save it for the fight that he's going to have in the future. He needs to save it so he can call the bullpen. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up the phone. <laughs> I do think Guillermo would be next to last, though, on who I would select to go to go into a fight with. I think I'd take Allison before. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. Allison would just be neurotic, though. I I'm not. I'm she'd not. Be more successful in breaking a fight up than no, Billy. Here's would be. the thing, though. Here's the thing about Allison. I wasn't even saying I, Allison would be my last choice in a fight because she's a woman, though I could say that. I was saying it because she'd just be neurotic about, should I throw a punch here? Dan, is that really what you want to do there? I don't, I, like, she'd just be, she'd just be neurotic. Yeah, and, and the fight should would I stand here, the, the, there. The, yeah, the, should, should I, right. Should, is this where you want me to stand? <laughs> What happens in your lives that you guys are just getting in fights? Like, are you all hotheads? You you can't control yourself? You just go around punching people? It's typically alcohol, really. Yeah. Control yourselves. I mean, I haven't been in a fight. And I told you when I retired, I got in Coconut Grove. I got my shirt pulled over my head. I had a bloody ear. I lost my shoe, and there was a car honking at me because I was in the street. Yeah, but how many almost fights have you been in since? Since then, none. No, none, no, that no, was it. Not no, even someone no, got I got out of the game. Stupid. No, I got out of the game. I had actually been, I mean, nobody's going to believe this, but I hadn't actually lost a fight until I retired on a terrible note. I hung on too long. I like, I hadn't actually lost a fight until that one went, which I lost in spectacular fashion. We we shouldn't be getting in fights. I'm just going to say that. Like, we're all celebrities here. Like, the video's going to get out. Like, it's not a good idea to get in a fight. You'll probably lose your job. We're all people of note. You can't just be fighting people anymore, guys. Guillermo, what's Grow going up. on with you today? What is happening? Like, what is happening with you today? What do you mean? I mean, are you angling for your own show? Like, you won't <laughs> shut up. Like, <laughs> it, it, it's not like you. It's just, are you mad because of Donnie Baseball? Like, that entire first segment, I'm guessing that's the first time in the history of the show that uh, somebody from back there has dominated an entire segment. Which is fine. I just don't understand what's gotten into you. 
I'll just, I'll just be quiet. I'll just be quiet. I just won't say a word the rest of the day. Just put up my polls. Nothing. Tribute.